Today, let's look at the basic ways you can attack with numbers in FC24 and overwhelm the opponent. We're going to look at the tools used and how to use it effectively with the advantages. So let's jump in. Visit u 7 bycom and get some cheap, safe, and reliable FC coins. You have to build a strong squad to manage the competition. Use the discount code DRFC for 6% off, link in the description. Attacking with numbers can be something hard for the opponent to defend. You can easily get forward and break the opponent's defense, but how do you do it? This begins with creating movement. You have to move your off-ball players manually, and so let's look at the basic tools used to create movement. Number one is pass and move technique. You can call it give and go. This technique triggers your player to run forward after passing the ball, and this gives you that option forward to attack. For example here, I pass the ball to my midfielder using the give and go technique. So as you see this player is running forward, and that means he will be available when I get forward. I pass to my striker as I keep my eyes on this running player. I wait for a perfect moment and pass using the through ball, getting the ball to my player in behind the opponent's defense, and I head forward to score this goal. So you see how powerful the give and go technique is, let's see how you can perform it. You just simply press both the L1 plus X on your controller as simple as that. Then we have the L1 trigger. This is the most effective way to create a movement because it doesn't need that player to even touch the ball. You just choose the player you want to send forward and activate the L1 trigger and the opponent most of the times he won't notice that run. For example, here I win the ball and immediately pass to my midfielder. I send this player forward using the L1 trigger. As this player begins his journey forward, I pass the ball to my other midfielder. Jude Bellingham. I see my running player is about to cross the defense line, so I use the lob through pass, get the ball in behind to my running player, and now as you see the opponent has nothing to do about this situation, and so I use the opportunity and score this goal. To perform the L1 trigger, you simply just aim the left analog towards that player you want to get forward, then immediately tap or press L1 button. This player will instantly run forward. So what are the advantages of creating movements or sending your players forward? Number one is to create options forward. When you send players forward when attacking, you get forward you finding yourself with many passing options to use and be creative with. This gives the opponent hard time to stop your attack because he has to deal with many passing options. This gives you that feel of control and also quick reaction because you don't have to keep on searching for passing options. Your players are available and it's up to you to use them. Number two is to receive the ball forward. Let me explain this quick. For example here, instead of passing the ball right away to this open free player, I have space in front of this ball holder. So when I pass the ball, I will be receiving it around this area or spot. But I send this player forward and he makes some run that I pass to him. Now see how I have received the ball forward. This saves time and also puts more pressure to the opponent. And by this, the opponent is forced to take immediate action or else you're breaking through. So next time, instead of passing the ball right away to your winger, first trigger him to move a little bit forward, then pass the ball to him. Then from here, you can take actions according to the situation. Number three is to create that high attack momentum. Options plus forward play increases the speed of the attack. Sometimes when you send that player forward and pass to him, it increases the speed of the attack. How? Because when the player is stand still and just walking and you pass to him, that moment that play has less momentum to get forward. But when you trigger him to run forward, he's now with high attacking movement because of the speed he has gained. For example, here I send this striker forward and pass to him. But look how this action is affecting the speed of my attack. I control the ball safely, dribbling a little bit and pass to my midfielder. I see this player and immediately trigger him to get forward. I pass to her. Control the ball and shoot to score. Sending her forward puts that player in a right position to receive the ball to shoot immediately. Last advantage is to spike the opponent's attention and mislead him. When you send many players forward, you're giving the opponent active work to deal with all the options. So this mentally he has to stay focused, but if not you can send multiple players just to mislead him focusing on that run, then take the opposite. Like here I send my midfielder forward to create more options, I dribble and get the ball to him. So here I send this striker forward as I continue dribbling forward, and as you see the opponent is tracking that run. So I change direction and also send this winger forward. I send this winger just to spike the opponent's attention to focus on that winger, and as I expected the opponent did that so I pass to my striker. I control the ball and pass to my winger, control the ball with momentum and move inside the box, but in the end I couldn't score because I didn't read the goalkeeper movement. 
Here are some of the advanced ways to spike your creative movement skills. Number one, when using the L1 trigger, try to send that player forward sometimes before even your player receives the ball. So when you pass the ball, try to activate the L1 trigger before even that player receives the pass. This puts you steps ahead of the opponent, and it catches him off guard because you're reacting very fast. And when you go back and look at the clips we have used, you will see that 60% I trigger the player run before even receiving the ball. Number two is to make your option available sometimes. When you send that player forward, sometimes he can run into the opponent's defender, and when you pass to him you automatically loose the ball, or even loose that passing option him when runs in an offside position. So to call that player back you simply aim the left analog towards that player, then press or tap on the R1 button. This triggers that player to stop and get back. You can use this trick in an effective way to be more unpredictable. Like sending that player forward to spike the opponent's attention to track that player, then you immediately call him back. This create confusion in the opponent's mind, and also create more space for that player because the opponent has pulled back his defender. For example here I send my midfielder forward and I pass to him, increasing the momentum of the attack. So before even receiving the ball I send this winger forward, but the opponent reacts quick and apply pressure immediately, and also closing up the passing angle. I couldn't pass to my winger, and he runs into an offside position. So I control the ball away from that pressure, and call my winger back. So the opponent switches to his fullback and apply pressure, because he knows I have no option and my player has ran into an offside position. But I quick react to his press, so I first send this winger forward again, and beat this fullback with left analog dribble. So now see how I have been creative in this situation. I release the pass to my player and get in behind the opponent's defense. Imagine how your friends would be surprised when you drastically start winning every game and beating everyone. You can save your time and join my quick one-on-one -on -one FC course for just only $80 by now, where I guide you in each aspect of the game and improve, or even climbing higher divisions all way to elite division and ultimate team. Just check me out on Discord Shabby2838, inbox with the discount code DRFC for 20% off. That's it guys for today. Thanks for watching.